The Honor B is the most basic smartphone to be launched in the market by Huawei under the online brand Honor. Like the other phones under this brand, the B is an online exclusive product. The best thing about the phone is the price. Price is around 5000 rupees. The phone is affordable, but is it good? Hey guys, this is Aditya for Price Baba. Let's find out. The Honor B is built for a price and it is evident when you look at the device. It has a 4.5 inch FWVGA display. The display isn't the best in the market but given the price you're getting a fair deal today. It has decent contrast but the viewing angles aren't great. The phone has a full plastic body with the volume and power buttons on the side. The plastic buttons have a metallic finish and have a good click feel to it. The top has the 3.5 mm headphone jack and the micro USB port for charging and data syncing. Now the phone is well proportioned and fits well in the hand. It has three capacitive touch buttons at the bottom and they do not illuminate. These buttons are designed like the ones in Android Lollipop, which takes us to our next point: software. This tiny phone runs on Android 4.4 KitKat with Emotion UI on top, but the experience is mediocre. The phone is powered by a 1.2 GHz quad-core processor and has 1 GB of RAM. The processor is an entry-level chip and surprisingly the phone has decent amount of RAM. The hardware seems well, but the software is the limiting factor here. The Emotion UI makes the phone feel slower, ruining the experience. Right from unlocking the device to other animation, it just feels lethargic. It may have been better if Huawei gave it a lighter version of the UI to make it feel snappy. Now we have experienced the UI on the Honor 4X which has more processing power and RAM and it feels really good. The B cannot deliver the same kind of experience like its powerful siblings. Now while Huawei has promised Android Lollipop for the phone, we'll need to wait and see how the phone performs with that. In terms of storage, the device offers 8 GB of internal memory which is better than the Android 1 series that only have 4 GB to begin with. The phone has a micro SD card slot and accepts cards up to 32 GB. The Honor B has an 8 megapixel camera with dual LED flash. Now specs like these aren't common in the price range, but is the camera really that good? It clicks images which appear a little grainy for our liking. The camera app is again same like the one we saw on the higher models. It needs a stable hand to click. without which most images appear to be blurry this is also due to the laggy viewfinder which makes it tough to click good images double clicking the volume down button launches the camera quickly and takes a snap in this mode it also displays the time taken for the snap which isn't really helpful for the user the camera also has quick launch options from the lock screen at the back the speaker phone is brilliant too you could watch videos without having to strain yourself to listen what the output is Budget smartphones aren't known to pack huge batteries because they don't really need a lot of power in the first place. The Honor B has a 1780 mAh battery that is capable of powering the phone for one full day with light to moderate use. The phone comes with a 0.5 ampere charger and takes about 3 hours to charge the device to full from complete zero. With heavy usage, we saw the battery dropping down steeply. The Honor B is the basic offering from Huawei and costs a little under 5000 rupees. The phone offers good specifications for the price. The software spoils the user experience and Huawei should have offered a lighter version of the Emotion UI. They have promised Android Lollipop for the phone which makes it fairly future proof. The Honor B does better than its competitors and if you have a strict budget then the Honor B should keep you happy. This was the review of the Honor B. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. This is Aditya for Price Baba signing off.